views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. And there they go! Whoa! Yeah! The Fannie Lou Heim of Freedom High School is in the house. Career Clue Program. Give yourselves another big round of applause. And thanks for coming down. And thank you for tuning in and checking it out. Good morning, everybody. I'm the Doc Bob Lee, and you're watching Open. It's a show that brings the Bronx and the world to you, and we got it going on to you for you until it's time to quit, right? Got a great show lined up for you today. Coming up, we'll learn about a group creating events and more for women to network and to enjoy. They're here on the set right now. Plus, we'll find out about, about financing and generational wealth. Woo! Money in your pocket. Mind, body, and matter. It matters. After that, we'll check out about the Bronx kickboxing studio and how this form of uh, fitness works out. Yeah. And then we'll take a look at a charity softball game with the goal to raise money for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico! Oh. And then Bobby C has the latest in the headlines of the world of sports. And then later on, you can free up yourself. Fitness joins us uh, today in the studio for workouts you don't want to miss. So stay tuned. All this and more is headed your way. I'm the Doc Bob Lee, and we are open. There they go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WB Ellison. You're watching live. It's a live and interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. Well, you can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. That's what's up. Leading things off on August the 23rd, Women in Power events. They're going to hold their Bronx Collab Space Incorporated event. That's what's happening. And you can join us uh, with all of that. We're gonna, they're going to show us what to do, how to be, and how to say what we're going to say. The founders <laughs> are here. Nelsie Cabrera. Did I throw those R's? Cabrera. <laughs> and <laughs> Gwensneldi Pescame. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. You thought I was going to say something else. <laughs> no. Well, I can call you Nina. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Tell us about your program. So we're WIP, which stands for Women in Power. We do vendor networking events, uh -huh. and that basically consists of uh, shows, I mean, events that we host where we gather small women-owned businesses to bring them exposures. And um, I'm the director. I usually scout and contact every vendor for the venues that are located in the area. Mm -hmm. I also help them direct them in the events, like if they need help setting up or just to make them feel comfortable. On your website, do you have that song, Whip? I mean, <laughs> no? You should, no? You're going to use it. Oh. <laughs> Just ideas that I keep throwing out there. Oh, so what do you have coming up in the Bronx? We have an event called Girl Boss at the Bronx Collab, which is this new space uh -huh. in White Plains. And we're going to have over 15 vendors. We're going to have free drinks. We're going to have raffles. We're going to have goodie you're bags. You're talking about sodas and... No! <laughs> Lemonade. Iced tea. No. <laughs> Iced tea mix. <laughs> Wine. Mixed drinks. So, uh, so go ahead. Mm -hmm. So that's events on August 23rd. It's from 6 uh -huh. to 10 um, in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. We have many future events. We like to do citywide events. So we've had an event in, the, in Brooklyn about three months ago. Oh, okay. We have a joint event in Christmas with another... Uh, fellow of us that does these types of events, a Christmas event. It's a uh, huge event, over 60 vendors. That's also in the Bronx. And all the info's on our website. We have so much coming up. We have another event in Brooklyn on September 7th. Mm -hmm. It's on a Saturday. You um, guys are whipping it up, huh? Trying. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, how did you come up with the, how did you know that this is what you wanted to do? I'm a small business owner myself. So I have a line called Lulu and I do cocktail dresses for women. Louvu. 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 Oh, yes. Louvu. Let me write it down. L O. L U. L U V U. L U V U. Oh, Louvu. Yes. Where did I see that now? On my website. 
<laughs> is it posted up somewhere? I, I, I've, I've seen that. Lulu. I gave it a break so that I can focus on web, uh -huh. but um, it led me to web. Um, it was hard for me to generate, generate awareness through my yeah. website because I needed traffic and it's hard with all these social media outlets that we have right yeah. now. So I started doing trunk shows. Trunk shows basically, I go to your house and you host and you invite a couple friends and I have a whole setup like we're in a store yeah, and people shop. That. After that, I was invited to a show in, there's a place in the Bronx called Rosie's Manors and I was in love and they had all these vendor events and I got to see different buyers that were outside these trunk shows that I created and I met so many other companies and I loved it and I was like, this will be great. The uh -huh. feeling I felt, I want to give it to other people and that's how I started with. And how did Nina get involved? She's my sister. Sister! <laughs> <laughs> so you watched to put all this together and said, hey, let me join you. Yes. Sister work here. Yeah. I, usually, I also contact um, companies to see if they have any sponsorships opportunities available. Yeah. And they actually help us fill up the goodie bags for the events because we do give out goodie bags. Yeah, we have, we've had huge brands, mm -hmm. Kula, Design Essentials, the Honey Curls. Pop, Palmer's, Curls. They sponsor our events. So you're whipping it up because you want women to realize what? Their power. We want them to show their brands. There's so many women out there that start their own businesses and they don't get the exposure that they deserve. And it's, yeah. it's so much work behind it. Like, it's, it's so much work. So through WIP, you, you, you're going to have this event where you can bring people together. Yes. And everything will, will be there under one roof and it will show women what? All, all their, all their businesses. So every event we have different businesses. So this specific event, we're looking for businesses in the Bronx. So it's all Bronx businesses, women that have their own startups, whether that's from clothing to oils, music, to music, drinks, everything. everything. You keep bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I'm with you, but go ahead. <laughs> so this is going to take place. Give me the, the, the place again. It's called the Bronx Collab. The it's Bronx on Collab Whiteline. Space Incorporated? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, 3866 White Plains Road. Yep. That's yeah. it. August 23rd. August 23rd. It's be August 23rd. That's on a Friday. So come after work. It's from 6 to 10 p.m. Gotcha. We'll have drinks. We'll have raffles. We'll have swag bags and the amazing women. Iced tea. <laughs> Iced tea. And lemonade. Yes. It's going to be a mix. Yes. So that's great. Thank you. So you're going to take pictures so the next time you come back, you can show us what you know. What Absolutely. You we have a lot of pictures, actually, from oh, our yeah. previous events. Okay. Yeah. Show, show us more. Absolutely. Uh, where can we go? You have a website or something? Yes. Like? So our website is womenempowerevents.com. Right. Our IG account is Women Empower Events. And if you want to contact us, if you have a business and you want to expose it, you can contact us at womenempowerevents at gmail.com. There you go. <laughs> They're open. It's wide open. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back with more right here on Open. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's Smokey! It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. And finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch! Oh, my bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. neighbors and best friends. <laughs> I love my sister. My heart, my heart doesn't, doesn't see race. race. Love, love is love. love. Our family is no less than any other family.
And our crew is in the house. Give us another big round of applause. Yes, indeed. Our crew is uh, the Fannie Lou Heimer of Freedom High School. Thank you guys for coming down, and thank you for tuning in and checking it out at home. And welcome. Hey, you know, on August the 10th, Money, Mind, and Body, they're going to be holding a conversation on general, uh, generational, generational, wealth. generational wealth. I got you. <laughs> generational wealth. And they're here right here. Well, you guys can kick in right now if you want. We've got the co-founder, Sam Cartagena. She's She's on me 100%. That's a mira sierra. See? There you go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank, thank you thank for you. having us. Cartagena. Cartagena. Yeah, yes. carta. Exactly. <laughs> so we're the co-founders of Money, Mind, and Body, like uh -huh. you said. And we focus on personal growth and community development. So we do that through online communities and uh -huh. in-person events. Like you said, our first event is happening August 10th. And so we focus on emotional, physical, mental um, well-being in all areas. So, so our first event is about money and financial wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, is this your very, very first event? This is our very first event. So you're some newbies in the business. <laughs> well, not necessarily. You've been in it for a little bit. We, right? Yes. yes um, Sam and I are both entrepreneur women, and mm -hmm. uh, we've known each other since we were 11. Yeah. And um, the universe makes no mistakes, and we cross paths um, in the fall, and we've been working very hard mm -hmm. at cultivating this space. So, as Sam was saying, our first event is on August 10th. It mm -hmm. is going to be at the Bronx Art Space, and we're having a conversation on generational wealth. We're armed with uh, two financial gurus who are women, Mabel Nunez from Girls on the Money and yeah. Chancy Ransom Cooper from Wealth Finesse. Yeah. Um, and we're very excited to host this event and create space for our community um, by women, for women, and open to the men who are smart enough to join <laughs> us. Oh, women power. Open to the men who are smart enough to join yes. you. Whoa. <laughs> we'll leave it right there. <laughs> so men can come also. Of I course. <laughs> They're going to get you. <laughs> but that's cool. All right, so you've been doing this for some time. You've known each other for, since you guys were 11, so mm -hmm. you grew your friendship and grew your business together. Um, so, go ahead. I was just going to say, we actually lost touch after we met. So I moved to Jersey, and we uh. hadn't seen each other for 10 years or so. And then we just bumped into each other. We both had a similar vision, mission for life. Look at that. Yeah. So you guys split together. apart, but you never really split, split apart. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you came together, and you said, hey, you know what? I was thinking... I was thinking the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. So what happened? Tell Basically, us we were both um, wanted to create space. So um, I lived abroad for about four years. Um, and Where'd then when go? I Madagascar for three years, oh. and then I was running a social enterprise in the Dominican Republic where I was training entrepreneurs on creating um, sustainable economic development in the DR. I'm Dominican-American, first generation. Mm. and. Um, I'm from the Bronx, I'm a Bronx native, and I truly believe that the Bronx is undergoing a renaissance. Uh -huh. And when we aligned, we, we both knew that we're very passionate about talking about the mind and um, just our intentions, but also financial health and, and what that means and creating and, and setting a platform so that every generation does not have to start from zero. Yeah. Um, our generation is the generation where we are innovators and we're doing so much, but there seems to be a discrepancy within our communities. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, those are our intentions. We want to create a collective of resources for our community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. How'd you come up with the name, uh, Money, Mind, and... All Sam. <laughs> it kind of just, just came to me. Um, so when Samira and I got together, we uh -huh. realized that we had similar life experiences and that we had a similar vision for what we wanted going forward. Yeah. So we're both Dominican-American women, both first-generation college graduates, and we realized that our families work hard. So mm -hmm. my grandmother, for example, sure. came here as a seamstress. She started her own business. My mother has owned multiple businesses. They work hard, but for some reason, every generation, like Samira said, is starting from square one. So we want to have those honest conversations about where we've been and where we want to go, not just financially, our first event is for genera is about generational wealth, yeah. but in general, how can we live a life where we're not feeling like we are in survival mode, mm -hmm. where we are thriving and we're living mindfully? I yeah. like that. So, uh, you know what? And you th do you think they teach enough finance in, in, in the school? Absolutely no. not. They don't. They definitely don't. Mm -hmm. um, and especially in our communities, we don't. Um, and, and maybe this is very broad, but for 
from what I hear and from my friends and just people that I've crossed paths with, we, we're not growing up with, with these conversations. You know, certain demographics of people, they grew up talking about money at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we just don't have that. So mm -hmm. um, we want to create that. We want to create that space uh, mm -hmm. where people are getting the resources and the education yeah. um, and also able to leverage the tools mm -hmm. to be able to set themselves up. So when you talk about money, what do you tell people? Well, everybody has their own journey with money. The conversations that we want to have, so like Samira said, we have two experts. One is an expert on financial planning. She's a certified financial planner. And the other is an expert on investing. So that's where we're going to focus on specifically for our event is building a healthy relationship with money, then mm -hmm. learning how to manage that. And mm -hmm. then what is investing? So we both also started our careers in finance. And for me, I can say it was an entirely new world. Right? So we want to introduce people to the world of investing and also having a healthy relationship with money. And you're, you're thinking about talking to the healthy people. I mean, people who have a healthy relationship with spending, what do you exactly. tell them? <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people just like to spend and, mm -hmm. you know, not yeah. put their money in certain places in order to save and right. make it grow, things of that nature. Well, we're, we, everybody is in debt, right? So <laughs> people, there's a misconception that uh, you cannot save while you're paying off your debt, right? So um, we're trying to just misconstrue, like de deconstruct um, a lot of the notions and mm -hmm. ideas around it. Um, and just telling people baby steps on where to start. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't start at 20%, saving 20%, start at 2% if you can do that. Just start somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're, bring, we're bringing in financial experts so they can give our community really tangible and specific advice, but also tools and resources so that the conversation doesn't have to end once the event does. The earlier you start, the better. Exactly. So we have a lot of high school students here. What do you tell them? <laughs> Start now. <laughs> Start now. Start yes. now. How much should we save? Even even if it's a little bit. If you, know, you get an allowance of ten dollars, how much should I save from that? $1. Save two dollars. Two dollars. Let me get a little bit more in there, right? Two dollars. Yeah. So save two dollars out of your ten dollar bill, okay? <laughs> and you'll watch it grow from there. <laughs> They'll tell you how where to put it. Right. On. So, uh, do you have a website where we can go to? Yes, yeah, so our website is moneymindandbody.com. Moneymindandbody.com. Yes. yes. And um, our email is hello at money, mind, and body. Yeah. Um, so if there's anyone watching that wants, kind of aligns with our mission, wants to be a part of it in any way, feel free to reach out to us. And they can come down on this date. Yes, yeah. um, we're, we're talking money and mimosas. Um, we have a, a <laughs> panel. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. There's going to be food, drinks. Out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's it going to be? Go ahead. It's going to be at the Bronx Art Space, uh -huh. located in Mott Haven. There you go. Yes. On what date? August 10th, what 1 time? to 4 p.m. <laughs> okay, we'll check it out. <laughs> thank, thank you. you for by, thank right? you for having love us. You guys, and <laughs> thank, thank you for all the work that you guys do. Thank Come you for back having again. us. Okay. We, we will. will. <laughs> right. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more next. Behold the angry giant. Behold the angry giant. Behold the angry giant. Behold. The Angry Giant! It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Thomas, you've got pre-diabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have pre-diabetes. Big time. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism 
shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. They call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above average four-legged homie and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me, now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me, I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Welcome, welcome. These guys on a set. Girls, too, have the muscles here. <laughs> welcome back. I'm your host, the Doc Bob Lee. Our next guests are from CKO, Throg's Neck. Watch out. And they join us today for a look at their kickboxing. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> See, I threw the hands in there, too. <laughs> Taekwondo? Everything. A little bit of everything. We welcome uh, owner, Enaldo Chavarria, mm -hmm. assistant manager, Chelsea Gonzalez, and trainer, Maxwell Ennis. We welcome you guys to the show. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you for having right. us. So you guys are kicking. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Tell us about what you guys do. Uh, well, CKO Throxnick is an actual a franchise, part of CKO Kickboxing. Uh -huh. um, and we just decided to open one up in the Bronx, first one being in the Bronx. And yeah. it's one hour of cardio kickboxing. Pretty much you are paired up with a bag, and you have a trainer. Uh, one of my trainers here is Maxwell. Uh, and for one hour straight, he tells you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and you just pretty much follow his um, instruction. Uh -huh. um, one of the things that's unique about CKO Throgsnack, um, CKO Kickboxing, is you're paired up with a bag, yeah. and you know the workouts are intense. Not a person yet, just a bag. Just a bag. Just the 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 bag. Oh yeah, they you can. know, yeah, they it's uh, like six feet tall, uh, <laughs> a little bit over hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know another thing that sets us apart is that you know we do build a community in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's very exciting. Um, I think the trainers a little bit more. And clients to tell you exactly what kind of the workouts that we do and stuff like that. Yeah. How does one start when they're just starting out? They never really kicked anything before. Well, usually I go bag. through uh, the fundamentals first, just to um, show them proper form, uh, how to throw the punch, so that once you get a lot more comfortable, I always tell them that there's three aspects to changing the intensity because yeah. that's the great thing about CKO is mm -hmm. you just go at your own pace. It's not, you know, you can come into a class, you know, the first day and you could be in the same class as somebody that's been going for two, three years yeah. and mm -hmm. you still get the same workout. And it's not that you feel as pressured as them, but you can come in, still get the same class and still get the same workout, even though you just came there for your first day. What? So, okay. so yeah, even yeah. though you're coming in, you're learning those fundamentals, uh -huh. you're, you're going through is uh, different placement, speed and power. So if you change up all of those different things throughout the class, that's the best way that you're going to grow. Yeah. And Chelsea, what type of equipment do you need to, to get involved? You definitely need gloves. <laughs> we, uh, it's required. You gotta wrap your, um, your hands. Definitely wraps. Um, it helps support the knuckles and the wrist. And the wrist. Yeah. Um, Some people and punch wrong and that thing can turn either way and you can yeah. have a Which sprained is why wrist we, for a long time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, everybody here knows. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we kind of have little. <laughs> yeah. you know, we've learned to practice. Uh. <laughs> and just bring your energy, you know, positive energy. Once you walk into that door, no matter the day you're having, you know, we live in a world where it is tough. You know, we all yeah. go through things every day, negative mm -hmm. uh, things happen to us every day, you know, personal experiences, and you come into those doors and you feel the positive energy, you feel the positive vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from the music pumping to everyone smiling, it's a community. Everyone mm -hmm. there shows you love. Uh, no one thinks you're, you know, no one thinks they're better than yeah. anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and basically it's for d to discipline oneself. I mean, you know, yes. not mm -hmm. learning this to go out there and try to kick somebody's you know, <laughs> tail, mm -hmm. but you're disciplining yourself. Yeah, you are disciplining yourself and you also realize what you can push yourself to. Yeah. And that's one of the things that it, it's just a, sometimes it's hard to describe, but it's a feeling after completing mm -hmm. a workout. You're like, I actually did this. And, you know, uh, Max, Chelsea, and my other trainers at the place, you know, we do push you, but then you actually, at the end of each workout, you're like, I actually did this. And, you know, mm -hmm. we're encouraging you. They encourage you every step of the way. They're telling you, you know, you got this, you can do this. And then it's mentally just 
it's just a feeling of like, wow, I actually did this. Yeah, and yeah. that's one of the greatest things. And that's one of the things that also makes us stand apart from other type of um, um, gyms and stuff like that. It's like, you know, he put me through this, but I did this. Because at the end of the day, it's you against that bag. It's yeah. you one on one. And that's one of the things that I just love about this. And that's one of the things that drew me to CKO. Mm -hmm. Do you teach them, Max, about uh, singing a song on that bag? I mean, <laughs> rhythm and everything, you know? Oh, I, oh, I, I have a different I'm, method. I'm saying <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, training. I used to box, so I used to yeah. hit the uh, I did some kickboxing a little bit, too. No, but, no uh, singing uh, in my class. Huffing and puffing. There puffin. is dancing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of dancing. praying. It's in your mind. It's in yeah. your mind. Da-da-da-da-da. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, da, 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 definitely got to find that yeah. rhythm and yeah. lock into that zone. And I just always remind them that, you know, uh, definitely New Yorkers, we live in a high tension, you know, society. And it's 4% of your day that you got to give to yourself, and you're going through that straight hour with me. We're not going to do any cooling down, resting, relaxing. All of that time that you are taking for that break, it's going to be an active rest, and I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. I'm encouraging you, and I'm giving you those words that you need to to, to push through to that yeah. new person that, that you want to be. That person just starting needs that low rest. What's it, three-minute rounds? Uh, oh, no, it's uh, uh, one You hour. keep going? One it's hour. different drills. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one hour. It's a one hour. <laughs> it's a one hour. <laughs> you just keep mm. going nonstop? Listen, you come there to work out. We so. just let people know to go yeah. at their own pace. Yes. yes. You know, yes. but There's we will push you to, like, yeah. your, your extreme. I mean, you don't do to do three minutes or five minutes and then... Well, there's, no I have different like drills, so I have a lot of little, you know, hamsters running around right. in here. So uh, <laughs> a squat could be a rest. A squat, <laughs> a squat could be a rest. Find yeah. your rest within this exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty second squat. Yeah. Yeah. Give you a twenty second squat, and then have you doing burpees in two point five seconds. I mean, you work. So talk about the benefits for, uh, of all of this. It helps build confidence. Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. that's my biggest. Uh, just anybody that walks in, you know, they're walking in there for a purpose. Uh -huh. And a lot of the times is they're lacking confidence. You know, mm -hmm. they won't tell you they're lacking confidence, but they are. Mm -hmm. um, so confidence is one of the, mm -hmm. the big ones. And obviously health, you know, it yeah. does. You know, it's one hour of cardio, kickboxing. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, aside from health, but yes, she's absolutely right. Confidence is key. Um, uh -huh. Stamina, all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna, they're going to wrap us up real quick. But mm -hmm. the nutrition. The importance of nutrition. Yes. Please, somebody take that. Yeah, that every, every Monday. Every Monday we send out an email oh, um, yeah. with nutritional tips. It could be something as simple as, you know, make sure you're drinking a gallon of water, you know, a day. You know, um, when people come in, we're making sure our members come in. We're, we're asking them constantly, you know, how are you eating? Do you need meal, uh, mm -hmm. meal plans? You know, what we can do to help you with not only the exercise part, but also the nutritional part. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Website. Uh, www.cko.trogsnack.com. That direct you to our website, and you can also follow us on Instagram. We're very active on Instagram, and it's also we have a Facebook page as well. There you go. Arnaldo, Chelsea, Max, thank you. Thank you thank guys you. so much. Thank you for give having us. Give them a big us. hand, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you very give, much. Give me, one, give me one little move from your seats. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Take a quick break and come back. I know. <laughs> so, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys. And then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek.
There they go. There they go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. Of the Dr. Bob Lee. Welcome back. Hey, you know, on July the 23rd, New York Disaster Interfaith Service, they're going to uh, host a, a charity softball game for Puerto Rico. Can we get involved? Yes. Joining us with all the details, we have Lila Mejia. We have uh, Crystal Lee Fuentes and uh, Brian Rodriguez. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. So softball game, what's going to happen? Where's it going to be? You got the whole team ready? Yeah, I got 10 teams confirmed right now. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now the whole team's here. Pelham Bay Park, uh -huh. 6 p.m. to 10.30. Um, we have food that's going to be included for the players. You said food? Food, yes. See, food. Everybody over here said, mm huh? <laughs> At Pelham Bay? Yep. What kind of food? Um, arroz con andules, penil, <laughs> and the rest, you know, we'll leave it up to whoever shows up. Uh, She's cooking. Oh, you are? Yes, I'm cooking. You're doing cooking? <laughs> you, he just said the magic words right there. Yeah. <laughs> so so how did you guys come up with this? NYDIS. This has been in effect for some time, right? The New York Disaster Interfaith Service. We've been around since 9-11. Yeah. Uh, we provide assistance. Um, as you guys know, Hurricane uh, Maria happened two years ago, and we've in been Puerto providing Rico. in Puerto yeah. Rico. A lot of families came to New York City, so we've been providing disaster case management services to our families. Yeah, yeah. However, with our current administration, there's not much money for our families, so we depend on fundraisers and folks that we partner with. Yeah, find uh, another assist. way to do it, right? Yeah, we've done a lot of different events, so we're trying with the softball. We're asking folks uh -huh. if they're interested. It's $20 to play at the day of. It's $25. It includes food. And we have a special guest, Tony Sunshine, who will be singing the anthem. Oh, so we're yeah. really excited. We want as many people to come out. All funds go straight to our families who are living here in Puerto Rico. And we also do work in the island of Puerto Rico. Oh. We were there in March. We helped with the school, rebuild the school back, paint oh, it, gut it out. So, When are you guys going back to Puerto Rico? If we make enough money, hopefully soon. <laughs> I like that. Um, I travel around to Puerto Rico a lot, too, and it's, it's, it's sad to see what happened over there. And, and how slow the progression of, you know, rebuilding is taking place. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad that we have people like you, you know, standing in the gap to help out. Thank you. So, uh, Brian, looks like you, you're a good ball player. You play? Yeah, I play. You know, hit some home runs? Hoping. What position do you play? Um, mainly I'm, I pitch and I also play second base. You playing too? Yes. You're playing and cooking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you're going to play also? I'm still thinking about it. What if we got some people here that want to play? If you guys want to play, we'd love it. We'd love to help create a team. You guys play? <laughs> I would love you to see a Bronx Net team. A Bronx Net team. Mm. Maybe Michael Max Nobby can put that together with Helen. Helen plays. Okay. I think Helen plays shortstop. Okay. Is that right, Helen? She's our producer up there. She, she plays okay. shortstop. But um, it's for a wonderful cause, and this is like one of the things that you guys are doing all yes, year. Yes, correct. What we are some do. of the other things that you guys are working on? Um, so a couple of months back in March, we hosted an event at Lorraine's where we had a whole bunch of singers come and sing, uh -huh. and we raised a lot of money for that. Um, we're eventually going to host the Sip and Lip and Sip. She's also a makeup artist. Um, <laughs> we have many talents on <laughs> the stage, so we kind of just utilize all our the work uh -huh. that we do to try to create and bring money to the table. I like that Lip and Sip. Yeah. What, what do you guys do? Well, um, I'm going to talk about how to do your makeup because sometimes we don't have time in the morning to have an hour or two hours to do our uh, makeup and look this nice. So yeah, yeah. I just want to show you how to do the basics and just. Right. <laughs> I, tell you. I just want to show you how to do the basics and, you know, stay looking good all day. Foundation and all that stuff. Yeah, foundation, oh, eyebrows. <laughs> we had a makeup artist that came on and did. You should talk to him about coming on and making everybody up before we come on. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's a wonderful thing that you guys are doing. You know, um, we want to support you every step of the way with uh, your endeavors to raise money for Puerto Rico and to help you guys do whatever you need to do to make it happen in Puerto Rico. So I'm going to give you one of these cameras and I just want you to ask for what you want. Okay. Use that camera right there. Say hello to my little friend. Brian. Hello. Um, I would like anybody who's uh, interested in playing softball, uh, come, down, come on down. It's for a great cause. Even if you don't want to play, you know, participate, you could donate. Uh, we do have flyers, which will be given out. And also, um, I believe NIDIS has NIDIS.org. 
or yeah. www.nidus.org. You could go on the site and you could also donate. You donate. Need volunteers also? We definitely need volunteers. Yes. We're always looking for volunteers. Umpires. Mm -hmm. Umpires. Know, yep, we Volunteer need umpires. umpires. Yeah. Repost it. We're on social media heavy. Uh, just repost it. And hopefully we can raise at least 5000 we're hoping for yeah. as a target and continue going. When are you sending out social media again? When are you rocking that again? Uh, we, we're always updating. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to take what we're doing here today mm -hmm. and we're going to send that out. Uh, and then... Uh, She's going to be posting up a bunch of stuff, and uh, you get the people <laughs> in the control room. They're going to be doing things. Hey, guys. <laughs> and the charity game is going to be filled with lots of people. You mentioned the food and the drinks and, and the, the, music. the fun, the yep. music, and the, the softball. He, Brian's going to be pitching. Yep. I'm going to hit a home run off of him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to have a whole lot of fun that day, yes. right? Yes, yeah. that's what we're hoping. What park again? Palom, Palom Bay Park. Bay. Field Pelham four. Bay Park. Field, field four. four. Yeah. Ah. Very important, field four. Field four, because yes. you can travel around in mm -hmm. Pelham Bay Park for yes. a while. Yes. Field four, Pelham mm -hmm. Bay Park, yep. on what date? July 23rd. July 23rd. 6 p.m. Between? Between 6 p.m. and 10.30. All right. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank N -Y -D -I -S. you. N-Y-D-I-S. You call it? Nidus. 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 All right. <laughs> I'm gonna come in there. I'm gonna get the itis. Right. After I eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> the old disaster at the faith services. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're gonna take a break right here. I've got my man Bobby C. Yeah, Bobby C. He's got the latest in the world of sports coming up next. We begin our look at sports this Monday morning on the baseball diamond. The Bronx Bombers rebounded from a 2-1 loss on Saturday by topping the Toronto Blue Jays on Sunday. Masahiro Tanaka pitched six strong innings. Gio Urshela drove in two runs, and the New York Yankees beat the Jays 4-2 on Sunday. Toronto ace Marcus Stroman pitched well in his Bronx audition. He very well could be one of the pitchers the Yanks acquire at the upcoming trade deadline. Pinstripers continue their homestand tonight at the big ballpark in the Bronx when they welcome American League East rival Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, the Mets have come out of the All-Star break strong. Robinson Cano homered for the second consecutive game to help lead the Amazons to a 6-2 win over the Miami Marlins on Sunday. The Mets may still consider dealing pitchers Zach Wheeler and Noah Syndergaard. The Amazons have won two out of three and open a series in Minnesota on Tuesday. Time for some quick hitters from around the world of sports. NYCFC fell to the Red Bulls Sunday in New Jersey. The Red Bulls edged NYC 2-1 and may have benefited from a controversial non-call in the build-up to the goal that proved to be the match's main talking point. Speaking of talking points, the Angels honored Tyler Skaggs with an emotional ceremony before their first home game since his sudden death on July 1st. They honored him by donning his number 45 jersey, they honored him by inviting his mother onto the field for the ceremonial first pitch, and they honored him improbably with a combined no-hitter in a 13-0 trouncing of the Seattle Mariners at Angel Stadium. Baseball and life never cease to amaze me. Just two days after a pair of Angels combined to throw a no-hitter against the Mariners, the Rays fell just short of MLB history. Two Tampa Bay pitchers combined to throw eight perfect innings on Sunday against the Baltimore Orioles, setting down the first 24 batters they faced. There has never been a combined perfect game in baseball history. A weak single in the ninth kept it that way. Through a partnership between MLB and a minor league, baseball rules could be changing in the very near future. An outfielder in the independent Atlantic League of Professional Baseball made history on Saturday in Maryland by becoming the first baseball player to steal first base in the league's history. During a game between the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs and the Lancaster Barnstormers, Tony Thomas was at bat in the bottom of the sixth inning when an errant pitch bounced 
behind the catcher and toward the backstop, the 33-year-old Thomas decided to give the new rule a try and took off for first base. The outfielder made it to first without a throw from the catcher on an 0-1 count. That's called stealing first base if you're keeping score at home. Women's sports might be evening the pay scale in the near future, too. One of U.S. women's soccer's advertisers is putting its money where its mouth is in the fight for equal pay. Secret Deodorant, through its parent company, Procter & Gamble, announced a $529,000 donation to the Women's National Teams Players Association on Sunday with a full-page ad in the New York Times. The sizable donation has symbolic meaning, with $23,000 donated for each of the 23 members who won the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup one week ago. Pretty cool. And if you missed Sunday's action at Wimbledon, do yourself a favor and at least run back the highlights. Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer traded the lead in an intense matchup, playing on and on and on until an unprecedented fifth set tiebreaker was required to settle their memorable Wimbledon final. In the end, it was Djokovic who emerged victorious, coming back to edge Federer and become the first man in 71 years to take home the trophy from the All-England Club after needing to erase championship points. In golf, Tony Romo is like he is in the broadcast booth these days, right on the money. The former uh, Dallas Cowboys quarterback won his second straight American Century Championship, taking the Celebrity Golf Tournament title again this year. Romo scored 71 points in the modified Stableford Scoring System event, winning the tournament by a comfortable 14 points. He's a better golfer than QB. Just taking shots, Dallas fans. That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Anthony Davis wore number 23 in high school at Kentucky and with the New Orleans Pelicans. Unfortunately for him, Nike is reportedly putting on hold LeBron James' plan to give him that number for at least one season. Davis will wear number three instead. Davis was also supposed to be one of the headliners for USA Basketball this summer as the Americans try to win the FIBA World Cup in China. Now Davis is changing his plans and will not be with Team USA this summer, according to Yahoo Sports. In motor racing, Lewis Hamilton won the British Grand Prix as Mercedes went 1-2 yet again. Kurt Busch won the Quaker State 400 in NASCAR, looking awfully fast at Kentucky Speedway on Saturday. In IndyCar, Simon Pagano may have led nearly every lap of the Honda Indy Toronto from start to finish, but Scott Dixon put up a fight as the laps began to wind down at Sunday's 85-lap event. Pagano saw his lead of over six seconds slowly become smaller and smaller as he had to slow his pace in order to save fuel. Dixon in second place began eating into Pagano's lead, eventually coming as close as a half second to the Indy 500 winner. However, with the help of lapped traffic and a last lap crash by his teammate Will Power that would end the race under caution, Pagano was able to claim his third victory of the season. Those are the headlines. We hit the C-list for the racing of the future. This weekend in Brooklyn, Robin Frins won the 2018-19 season finale in Formula E on Sunday, while Jean-Eric Verne goes down in history as the series' first two-time champion. Here's how it all went down. Check this out. Well, I'm so proud of my team because last year we did a, an amazing job being a private team with no testing days, with uh, very limited resources. And this year we had more resources with Diaz. Of course, it took more time uh, to get everybody to work together. But nevertheless, we were able to do a fantastic job as a team. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of them because it's been a tough season. And the way we were able to always bounce back from the bad moments really made our success this year. Amazing weekend of racing. That was Formula E's third turn in Brooklyn and the conclusion of its fifth season. Grand Prix auto racing dates back more than a century to races organized in France in the early 1900s. Now known as Formula One, the auto racing is an international sporting phenomenon, but another racing league is taking over city streets around the world. And while it has all the similar thrills of Formula One, it's missing one important element, gasoline. 
Instead, the Formula E League uses e-racers, high-performance cars that run on electric power. It's one of the most distinctive sounds in sport. It's far from the usual roar of a racetrack, but when the league lacks, you know, and what it lacks in volume, it really makes up for an intensity. And now you can make a case it's the fastest-growing mot motorsport in the world. <clears throat> Formula E racers are short, and the races themselves are short, about 45 minutes and take place on tight tracks and city centers. Speeds can hit up to 175 miles per hour. It's a far cry from the most popular racing league in the world, and that is Formula One, where the classic combustion engines are more powerful and race on courses that are wider and far longer. But Sean Eric Verne, who drove Formula One before becoming Formula E's top-rated driver, said it's not so simple. In the Formula E vehicles, the battery takes the engine space. Each costs about a million dollars and weighs 1,500 pounds, more than half of which is battery weight. In previous seasons, drivers had to switch cars because batteries couldn't last the whole race. This year, that's no longer the case. Battery power has improved dramatically, and so has the racing league overall. The logistics of moving those batteries and everything else from city to city is really remarkable. In Brooklyn, nearly 700 people worked nonstop this week to build a track from scratch. The whole event cost Formula E between 10 and 15 million. The future on display. And Bob, you know, I even scored these uh, awesome shades. Uh, you know, they match my suit. That's your sports from our Mercy Studio in the East Bronx. I'm Bobby C. Hmm. Maybe you can make retirement happen. After all, you made this vacation happen. Double points with every purchase. Cleverly merging promotions. I love it. Cross-referencing travel sites. And booking all your flights with those... Vouchers. I got us bumped. They were like, oh. But now they're like... <laughs> Aloha. You aced this vacation. Now get the tips you need to get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Music is a bridge between the material and the spiritual. As a blind person, you have to be aware that nobody can tell you what you can or can't do. You really have to try things. My wife, who was also blind, was a good cook. When she died, that's when I started Meals on Wheels. My name is Harvey Lauer. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Thank you, thank you. I got the crew here. Welcome back. You know, every Sunday at St. Mary's Park Recreation Center, our next guest, Keisha Brown, holds a Free Up Yourself Fitness. And she's here today with a preview. And she has the whole crew. Who's with you? Today with me, I have Leah, who is also a Shape Up instructor. I have Benno, who is also a Shape Up instructor, Rachel, and Shantae. Give them a big hand, everybody. So we're going to work on a number of things today? Yes, we're going to do a demo of a little bit of dance fitness. The class that I um, give on Sundays, uh -huh. it's a combination of several modalities of fitness, actually. There's weight training, there's uh, inter high interval training, uh -huh. there's dance fitness, there's calisthenics, there's stretching, there's step aerobics, there's a lot of things. But what we're just going to give you a taste of is a little bit of dance fitness. And it all takes Very place simple. St. Mary's Park St. Mary's every Park every Sunday, Sunday 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Uh -huh. And if they can join, if they is it all, is it up anywhere where they can, uh, they can go um, check it out? And they yes, can join they can you? look on the New York City Parks um, website, and you'll see a listing of over 200 uh, classes across the city, uh -huh. over 100 a week in the Bronx alone. How do we come out to yours? You come out to mine. Um, the closest way to get there, if you're not driving, would be either the BX19 bus or the two or the five train to 149th Street, go to St. Anne's Avenue, go down to 145th Street, and this community center is right there. We're upstairs on the second floor in the dance studio. All right, everybody, put your hands here. <laughs> everybody say break on the count of three. One, two, three, break! break! <laughs> All right, what are we going to do? Show us, show us, show us. DJ, hit the beat. <laughs> 
Oh, we're facing this way now, I guess, right? Open up. It's Kelpie Vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna start to the right. And right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, <laughs> oh man. The ladies, give them a big round of applause, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I added a little bit of running man to it, yeah, too. I saw I that flavor. I saw you it just, getting yeah. <laughs> So this is what you do. Yeah, and it, it just is. A piece it just of it. gets you in shape. It gets a good for cardio it. and yeah, everything. Yeah, so what we just did, it's almost like doing crunches standing up, really. Yeah, so, yeah. And we do some cardio, we do some weights, we do a lot of things, so. It's I good for it. the body. And it's crack and a sweat everyone's too. welcome. Children, adults, uh -huh. older folks, teenagers, everyone's welcome. You've been doing this for how long in the park? Um, no, of course, at St. Mary's for almost the past six months. Six months? Uh -huh. So when in the fall, you come out of the fall, wouldn't you stop um, in the winter or you can put some things on in the I winter? I was to going to stop, but I think I'm going to keep going for a while. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going for a while. I'm also teaching some other places, but um I'm gonna keep going with this for a while. Keisha Brown with the crew. Absolutely. Give me the crew one more time. This is Benu, uh -huh. Rachel, Shantae, and Leah. And in fact, Benu and Leah are also Shape Up instructors. Let them know when your classes are. So my classes are on Thursday. Wait, you don't have a mic, so get close. Here, okay. talking to my so, mic. So come, come in. My <laughs> classes are. <No. all. laughs> my classes are on Thursdays um, in the Bronx as well. We can find it on Shape Up NYC. It's called AfroFit. You can find me on Instagram, Body by Ben New. So B O D Y Woo! by B E N N U. There you go. And Thank Leah, you your so classes? My classes are in 130 West, West Tremont. So it's here in the Bronx too. You can look, also look it up on shapeup.com. Okay, and it's cardio sculpting, a lot of there jumping and sweating. Yeah. yeah, and that's good for you too. Yeah. You're using your third kidney. <laughs> 
<laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Doctors call it the third kidney. Your skin, your, yeah. the largest organ in your yeah. body, your skin. You're sweating. Your Absolutely. kidneys get rid of toxins. Yes. Your skin the gets rid of toxins too. Absolutely. Yeah. Extremely and when you sweat, glow. Yeah. Yeah. Little glow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so when you're doing that, the hip and all that, what did, what did that work on? You, <laughs> that works you, on your, your lower the, abdominals mm -hmm. and your uh, hip muscles. Am I doing it right? Your hip flexors when well, we're doing it. Well, you do it. Let me. Well, let's teach him. Teach him. So yeah, let's 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 come on, guys. Let's get let me get get right in here. So the first move we did is kind of like, think of it as doing crunches standing up. Crunches standing up. That's what you were doing. So, yeah. yeah. So you're kind of crunching. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. That's like an African move too, right? It is, in fact. It is. So mo majority. All right, don't laugh at uh, me. I, I'm not doing it the way they do it. Fun fact, majority of the things in my class have a connection to the African diaspora. So, <laughs> yeah. So now you can just add a step with that step and together and step, step and, and together. Tap. Step, step and together. together. Step, step and, and tap. tap. Or you could do step. your own. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You can get your. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do my own until I could yeah, learn absolutely. yours. <laughs> I think I'm going to steal that one. Are you going to do it? I'm going to steal that one. Get the new dances. But well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you for having us. We're and, ever so grateful. Yeah. Give me your website again. Um, You can catch us at New York City Parks and Recreation.gov and go to the. Drop down of Shape Up New York City, and you'll see all of the classes all over the city, all five boroughs. Right, let me see you drop it like it's hot. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's show. By the way, give them another big round of applause. Great job. <clears throat> well, thank you for tuning in and checking it out. Our guests, thank you for joining us and tuning in. And uh, we just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. We have an attitude of gratitude. You can catch the Recablecast tonight at 5 and 10 p.m. and watch anytime on the web at bronxnet.org. Now you can tune in Wednesday for all new episode with our host, Darren Jaime. Give Darren Jaime a big round of applause. He's going to hear you. He's checking us out. For all of us here at Bronxnet, have a great and enjoyable day. And always remember this. What you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God to choose your choice and let your choice control the choose. And remember, whether you say you can or you can't, either way, you're right. I'll see you over 107.5 WBLS. Peace. It's Kelpie Vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let